Hello beautiful people, it's Natasha with a brand spanking new video which a lot of you are going to love and many of you are going to loathe. This one is about something that I personally despise. I'm going to share five things to say when you want to end a relationship or as most people like to say, when you're going to dump someone. It doesn't matter if you've dated a person for a month, a year or even 10 years. Ending a relationship is never easy, but I have seen some people do it in the most disgusting way possible, which include doing it by text, doing it by email, and even just disappearing for days, weeks, and months, only then to drink dial someone and tell them you don't want to be with them, yet come up with numerous silly reasons not to be with them at the same time. So do not be a coward and ghost someone. It's sad, it's pathetic. If you want to do it, be mature about it and be sensitive when you are doing it. So here we go, guys and gals. Number one. If you've been on a few dates, text can be acceptable, but anything more deserves a face-to-face -face meeting in order to end it. This should be done in a public place and not somewhere that you have hung out or shared some happy memories in. It's going to be painful for the recipient and it's not going to be cool. Secondly, never ever use the phrase, I think we should break up or I'm breaking up with you at the beginning of the sentence or at the beginning of a conversation. It shows that you are simply cold and mean. Something like, you know, people in breakups often react badly. We all know about this. They express their anger, they express their sorrow, and it can, you know, lead to miscommunication. So be prepared for this and focus your attention on what the other person is saying or trying to say when you're about to end it. It's not easy, it's not fun. They may even give you some verbal abuse. Just sit there and take it. They may call you names, don't call them names back. Don't be irrational and do not tell them to calm down. Take it quietly. The only one exception is when he or she becomes violent. Then, my darling, you have my blessing to get the heck out of there. If you are leaving that person for someone else, then I say it now and I mean it when I say do not give them any spiel such as you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, blah, 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 and then post pictures of yourself all loved up with someone else for them to see. It just shows that you lack class and basic human courtesy. So be honest and be polite. The person on the receiving end will appreciate you for it in the long run. Lastly, never ever ever do it on social media. Now venting from both sides should be done privately with your group of friends and if you think your ex won't see your Facebook post and I'm telling you now they probably will. A Facebook sta ch status change is inevitable but when people ask, say it wasn't working we had to break up. The kindest thing you can do is leave your ex with their dignity. When you are the one being dumped, yes I know it sucks and if you are the one dumping a guy or girl you should try and put yourself in their shoes and not do anything that would make them hate you in the long term. Yes I won't lie, they may hate you at the time for being perhaps leading them on, for not you know, talking about your issues in the first place, for lying to them, or even for treating them like dirt. But if you have been good and treated the person with love and respect throughout your relationship, then naturally they're going to be upset for not having you in their life anymore. So be kind, be compassionate, and be swift when you do it. Don't drag it out. You'll certainly be able to sleep easier at night for doing so. And if you like what you saw in this video, I hope you appreciated it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you right back here on YouTube very soon. Shalom for now.